okay you can have australian capital territory new south wales queensland uh okay south australia all of these countries so let's try something else let's try india and i know that the country code is in if i hit it there you go so you can, you can see that you've got all of the states that belong to india you can change it in capital letter doesn't matter you will still get all of the data that you need the reason for this is because using string to upper here so irrespective of whether you pass it in small letters capital letters doesn't matter you'll still get the result which is brilliant awesome congratulations so we have successfully uh, registered our own custom field we'll create we've created the where clause and we've also gone ahead and got all of the data that we need in the shape that we require it looks pretty neat actually and the beauty of it is that let's say you only want state code right uh, you can remove that and just get that right you only want state name no worries just get that okay so that's the beauty of it uh, so just give you a recap of what we have basically done here uh, starting from the top the first thing we did was we registered the uh, we basically hooked into the GraphQL register types function and inside of our custom function which is hooked onto this one we are registering an object type which is woo state okay this object basically contains two fields state code and state name so this is the object this is your object okay and then we are registering the object type woo states which will basically be this one which will be an array of the type woo state right that is why you'll see that states is the field which is this one right here and it it is the type list of which means it's an array of so this is an array of right array of this particular f uh, object type which is woo state okay and i did show you that in the docs also that that's how it's working okay so i'm going from bottom to top which means i'm going from this object a uh, single object each of these objects is who state then comes the state which is basically a list of which means array of who state so each of the object is available inside of it as in form of an array and then finally i'm registering the graphql field uh, which is who states which is this basically and then it is of type woo states which means everything that you see inside of it which is this right here and then we are using an args so we are passing the args country code here and then type is string if it was integer you will change it to integer and then uh, that goes as an argument you can also pass multiple arguments so you know if i want more arguments i can put like this uh, and just say i can just say country name and the moment you do that and if you refresh click on explorer refresh there you go you can see that you've got country name as an argument available as well and you can very well add that over here okay so you can add multiple arguments and then finally we just resolve uh, which means whatever you're going to return from here is going to be available as your result okay get rid of that so that's going to be available as a result so what are we doing over here we're just checking if woocommerce class exists to ensure woocommerce has been activated uh, if it isn't then uh, you know just return states as an empty array and then if it does then just check if the argument has been passed if it has been passed then use the get states function of the countries class wc underscore countries class as you can see over here when i'm hovering over it and then just get the states and they just created a, a custom function here which is kind of getting the data and modifying and formatting it in a shape that we require which is basically an array of uh, key value pairs which is state code and state name and that's why you see that in this shape all right awesome so just make sure keep in mind that the shape needs to be the same as what you are asking for okay so graphql is very very specific about the shape it needs to know what type is going to be uh, there is no ambiguity when it when it comes to you know working with graphql it needs to know what data type it is it is it is 
is it a string or it is a, an integer or a list of so you need to define that when you're registering your object types and fields all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and um if you like my work uh, do subscribe to my channel and do start my repository to support my work and there is also another repository called nextjs headless wordpress which is basically using this particular plugin and you can check it out uh, it's pretty extensive uh, repository for the decoupled wordpress project all right so Please do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.